Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kiev, Columbia. Getting you some information on this 2020 Kia Telluride EX. So this is the base EX model, no premium packaging. Coming in gravity gray for you. So up front, we've got the nice white LED daytime running lights with halogen projector beam headlights. You've got halogen turn indicators in this honeycomb section here. Nice chrome on the front grille here, as well as the mesh honeycomb design on here. Nice Telluride badging up front. This is going to be an 18 inch wheel set on here with all season mud and, mud and snow rated tires for you. Color matched mirrors and door handles with chrome on your body side molding and wrapping around the window trim. We've got brushed aluminum on the rail system as well as a sunroof for you. You've got turn indicators on your mirrors as well as blind spot monitors and keyless entry on your front two doors for locking and unlocking. Just to go over the majority of features and equipment on this 2020 Telluride EX, it has about 32,809 miles. It's paired up, or sorry, powered by a 3.8 liter V6, paired up to an 8-speed automatic. Again, this is gravity gray. We've got a gray leather interior, and it's all-wheel drive. Any other information that you need on this vehicle, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com or scan this QR code right now. Wrapping around to the rear of this third row award-winning SUV. It's got a power lift gate on the back. We're going to show you how the smart lift gate feature works. We've got some LED tail lights back here, backup camera, rear parking sensors. The back glass is heated and has a rear wiper and sprayer. We're going to go ahead and continue around and just take it all in for a moment. Such a beautiful vehicle highest rated vehicle on Consumer Reports. Still in demand three years later. This is the one you want. We do have the ability to certify this vehicle, just so you know, so you can enjoy the entire powertrain factory warranty and some other goodies as well. There's those blind spot monitors for you. These outside mirrors are power folding on this model as well. We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. All four windows are automatic. We've got a combo window child lock here. Some nice wood grain trim wrapping across the front doors in the dash. Tweeters and woofers in the doors here with a nice center speaker. Lots of storage, nice bottle holder. 10-way adjustable power driver seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the lumbar there. Some nice perforated leather here. This is genuine leather, just so you know. Nice stitching pattern on there. Let's go ahead and hop in. On the left-hand side of the dash, we have dash illumination controls, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assistance, traction control, and our power lift gate feature there. Steering wheel is gonna be leather wrapped, and because it's all wheel drive, it's gonna be heated for you as well. If we need to adjust this, we can unlock this lever here tilt and telescope to get this right where we need it to be. On the left hand side of the wheel we're going to have entertainment and convenience features for voice recognition, cycling through audio sources, volume adjustment, tracks and presets, and Bluetooth. The right hand side will be driving and information tools. This column here will be for cruise control with your smart cruise which you can choose four different following distances for the Telluride to maintain. And when you activate that, it's going to also activate the lane follow assistance feature, which will provide some automatic steering to keep you centered in the lane, while the lane keep assistance will keep you from veering outside of the lane, depending on if you don't have that on. This page button, impressible lever, which is treaded so you can find it with your thumb, is going to control the drive display, where we can see our fuel range, transmission selection, ambient temperature, and the odometer. Right now it says the fuel economy on an average is 6.1 miles per gallon. That's based off of the last refuel or restart of the vehicle. Moving down, we can see based on the last 5,000 miles, we got about 19.5 miles per gallon. So this owner mostly drove in town as typically if you're more of a highway driver, you can get closer to 26 and 28 miles per gallon. Drive info there, digital speedometer, and your different drive modes. So right now the vehicle's in comfort mode. 
And the drive dial is right here where we can switch between smart, sport, comfort, eco, and a dedicated snow mode. Smart mode will change between these three modes for you automatically based on your pedal usage, which is what this screen is for here. Based on how you're driving, it will automatically switch between those driving modes, which will change the engine tuning, the shift points of the transmission, and the feel of the steering with its electronically controlled power steering rack. So it's pretty neat. We've also got navigation on this vehicle. So this will show you your current cardinal direction, or if you're navigating, it will show you turn-by-turn -turn information, and a checkered flag with the distance to your destination will pop up next to your fuel range. You've also got your safety and convenience screen showing you on this one when the lines on the road are registered. Your driver attention system, making sure that you're safe on shorter and longer trips based on how often you're triggering safety systems, accelerating, braking, following, all things associated. And it will beep at you to make sure that you are okay. You get your all-wheel drive screen showing you power output to each wheel as well as the front steering angle so we can see there and onboard tire pressure information. You can also go into the settings where we're gonna make sure that the smart lift gate is activated here. We can also change our one touch turn signal from three to five to seven flashes when we nudge the left wand. We can also make sure our welcome sound is on here, set our conveniences. We've got a rear occupant alert, welcome mirrors and lighting. We can turn that on for driver approach so the mirrors will automatically unfold as you walk towards the vehicle. All kinds of cool stuff here. We can set our service interval, make sure it's enabled and adjusted appropriately. Perfect, looks great right now. Awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the drive display here. That's it for the steering wheel too. Left-hand wand will control blinkers, brights, and headlights. You do have automatic headlights on here. Right-hand wand will control your front and rear wipers for you with their respective sprayers. Moving up above, Got some nice large visors here with a clip. It's gonna be mirrored as well as lit for you. These are also gonna swing out the telescope. Here's the full length of the door for you. Sorry, this driver's seat's kinda of close right now. I didn't move it back. But uh, up here, we also have uh, lighting controls where you can turn everything on, set it to the door, individually turn them on. We've got a sunglass holder that's felt lined for you. You also have your sunroof right here. It's a manual sunshade. You can open that up. It's got a nice little wind diffuser right here. You can tilt and slide this. Then up here, you also have your UVO link controls, which is now uh, actually called Kia Access. So this service right here, this built-in modem, will allow you to actually download an app on your phone called Kia Access, where you can subscribe to the service, which I think at most right now, it's $250 a year for the tippy top package, which allows you to lock, unlock, remote start, set the temperature, check your location, and tons of other convenience features available at your fingertips there. Got an auto dimming rear view mirror here to reduce glare at nighttime. Here's your 10.25 inch display, which is on the older display is a tri-panel display showing you your map, radio, and weather information. We can swipe over to access all of our applications for map, phone, radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, your traffic, weather, and travel information. You can also record voice memos in this vehicle. Go to the nav menu, use your UVO services, check out all your media options. You've got this cool feature called driver talk, which is now called passenger talk, which turns your vehicle into a PA system so people can hear you in all three rows of the vehicle, which is pretty nice. You can end here, or we can hit the end phone call button. You can see this is a two panel display here where we can look at two applications at once here. You also have quiet mode, which you can activate to reroute all the volume to the front five speakers and turn it down. You've got rear climate controls, your settings, driving info, and your user's manual available too. Nice large vents right here, vehicle is pushed to start. Here's analog controls for everything that I mentioned here along with a favorite button. Uh, letting you jump to your preferred application. Climate controls are here. We've got heated and cooled seating up front. So just press up or down in a three-step fashion on the same lever or switch there. Down here in our storage area, we have a 12-volt outlet, 
two USB ports. The center one will be for Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. And then you have a wireless charging pad here too. You can also press this down and conceal all that. Storage, cup holders, backup camera with your parking sensors here. This has projected pathing. Yellow box showing you where you're going, blue box showing you where you're at. Those left and right hand lines represent the true sides of the Telluride. So as long as nothing is getting close or touching those lines or coming in between, you're good to go. Feel free to use your handy dandy mirrors too though. You got your rear parking sensors here. And if you need a top down look, you can press this and activate that. The movable center line with the sides of the Telluride still being represented. All right. So here's our drive dial again, switching our drive modes. You can press this button on the dial for a center diff lock for 50-50 front and rear power distribution at low speeds. You have your start stop, disengagement button, parking sensor disengagement, auto hold, love this feature. Turn that on, you can see that comes on on the tachometer there. And then when I put the vehicle into drive, that text turns green. Now I can actually take my foot off the brake and relax anywhere that I'm at a full stop. Love that feature, it's my favorite. It's utilized with the electric parking brake here, which you can pull up to engage or press down to disengage with your foot on the brake. Center console has another USB port inside with some nice storage for you. The glove box is lockable and it has your owner's manuals inside for you. It looks like, yep, everything's there, excellent. All right, and that's gonna be it for the front seating area here, guys. We're gonna go over second row and third row here. All right, all right. Second row on the EX base is going to give you a bench seat here, so you have a seating for a total of eight people in this model. Second row windows are going to have sunshades for you to install for extra sun coverage, wind diffusing, or it's nice for keeping those puppy noses off the window too, possibly. Storage in the doors here. Nice large handles, so you actually can just get some leverage and swing the door shut without having to touch your paint. Teach your kids, all right. We've got cargo nets, cargo bagging, grocery hooks on both seats as well as USB ports on either side for charging for everybody. There's a 12 volt outlet down here in the center for your third person in. Cup holders here and up above we have climate control, lighting, ventilation, hooks, and handles. There's ventilation up above and down below on all three rows. You've got a nice armrest here cup holders, your latch system for child seating. You can adjust the angle of this rear seat. If you need to lean back quite a ways, you can also fold it down. I'll show you how to do that in a different way here. If you need access to the third row, whether you are tall or you are small, press that right there. This slides forward for you where you have access to the third row. Seating for three more people. There's a center seat belt up above. We've got USB ports back here, as well as more storage and cup holders for everybody. More ventilation too. These are rear occupant sensors, which shoots sonar out into the vehicle. And if something doesn't match the default form factor, it's gonna let you know and beep and say, hey, who'd you leave behind on accident? Because someone actually did that at some point. That's why we have uh, manual trunk releases in the trunk now too, just so you know but nice spacious seating. This actually has the interior form factor of a Chevy Tahoe here. So tons and tons of space available for you folks. We're gonna check out the power lift gate here, but I'm gonna show you in a different way to do that real quick. So since we've got our smart lift gate on, we're gonna turn the vehicle off here. Electric parking brake, brake automatically engages here. We're gonna lock that. We're gonna walk away. Right now, the key fob is in my pocket here. We're gonna trick the proximity for a second, do some shopping. Ooh, wow. Nice, Jeep Cherokee, very cool. Okay, cool. So we're walking back here. We're just gonna stand near the lift gate for about four seconds. After those four successful beeps and flashes within proximity of the lift gate, the smart lift gate will automatically open the hatch for you. So we have the third row up right now. If it is up, you need the extra storage. You have this tray underneath right here. This board can slide in and sit just like that. It can be completely like this or 
if you need to stuff some items between here, you can do that, or you can save that for the rear angle adjustment that you have on these rear seats here. You have your latch system in the third row if you need to put the child seat in the back, or if we need to stow all this, and not need to use this, maybe this bag hook back here, choke up on this, it's spring loaded, just let go. Flies on down for you. All right, so now we're making space here. Okay, put the cargo board back in place. We have a little bit of storage here to the left. Roadside tools are hiding underneath here. You can see you can actually keep the seat belts clipped out of the way if you need to too. There's a 12 volt outlet back here for extra charging. More lighting back here as well. If we need more cargo space, don't worry about it. Press that, ba-bam. Boom, look at that interior space that you have all of a sudden. So, tons of room in this vehicle. Um, I've fit some items in here that people just didn't think would really make it, but Kia has done an excellent bang up job and that's why this is the 10 out of 10 third row SUV on the market right now. Okay, when you're all done, press this right here to get it all closed up. You can also adjust the height of that lift gate by getting it to your set height and then holding that button for a couple seconds. Over here on the passenger side, we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways of adjustability over here on the passenger side with a little bit of extra storage on the side of the dash there. Got these nice handles too. You can either use these to hold on or it's great for routing cables through here to keep this area nice and clean. All right, guys, we're all done. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate you a lot. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This 2020 Telluride is available for sale and any other information that you need to make a decision on becoming the owner of it, such as the price, your trade value, the Carfax, or getting in contact with our team to help you with all of your vehicle needs, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com. Feel free to use the link down below in the description for ease of access to this Kia Telluride. This is Matt Crisant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.